to a week in my life in New York City. We've got a fun, busy week ahead. It's officially, I don't wanna say it's officially fall because I'm loving the summer weather. I'm very much team like let's enjoy summer weather as much as we can and then fall will be here soon. But it is officially full swing here back in the city. Like it's been pretty empty in the summer. I mean, it's still busy, it's New York City, but like things are happening. We've got events, we've got birthdays, we've got things I'm doing to my bedroom. Like we've just got a full week. So I think you guys are going to really enjoy this vlog. Fresh back from Nantucket. We flew back last night. If you guys didn't see my Nantucket vlog, go watch that before this one. It's really fun. Um, but of course I got merch, so I'm wearing it right now. Brooke and I just did a call um, with a brand about something. And now we just have a getting my life together kind of day. Not even that actually. It was actually kind of nice. With Nantucket, I didn't come back and I was all stressed. I needed to get my life together. It's more of like I just have work. It's a Monday. I have work stuff to do. Um, I unpacked last night. I kind of did. I've been really into my Sunday routine of ordering my Whole Foods grocery online. It, it's getting delivered here any second. I'm um, doing my sheets, all that stuff. And so that I'm prepared for the week ahead, which is really nice. Ryan also brought me flowers again last night. He is crushing it all i have to do is say you know i just love flowers and you know I, obviously i'm not getting him flowers but i'll you know if i see a shirt that i think you like i just get it for him you know that's my form of you know giving it back to him and so i love when he gets me flowers welcome to a week in my life let's get some things done groceries have been delivered i am just so obsessed with my sunday night orders um pretty much everything is for meals i'm trying to eat home a lot more and just be more on a regimen food wise. Um, so I've kind of gotten into a, like a few meals that I really like. I'm trying to up my protein, all the things. So I got chicken, rice. I thought these were like a lot smaller, but these are frozen white rice. It's just easy. You know, sometimes I get lazy. So this will just be good. I'll actually make a real meal with like chicken, rice, and broccoli, or green beans in this case, avocado, some cucumber, ham for like breakfast. This is a yellow watermelon, how fun. Some eggs, pasta, oats and honey granola is so good with just like almond milk, ground turkey for the pasta, and I think that's it. Oh, and hummus. I'm gonna put this all away now. Playing this playlist on Spotify called Relaxing Taylor Swift, so lovely. These are the flowers Ryan got me. I need more paper towels. And then I got this candle on Nantucket. It's so amazing. It smells so good. Um, it smells like fig, kind of. I love this brand, whatever it is. Fun little PR haul for you guys. Things I got in the mail. Um, always love um, hotel lobby candles. So I was very excited. This is the linen signature and spa. You guys know I like my apartment to smell like a hotel at all times. So um, this was actually a purchase. I bought this because of Julia Havens, of course. This is Sivan Ayla's brand. This is the Illuminating Beauty Balm. Um, Julia Havens used it with, oh, and I bought the brush. I forgot, with this brush. Hold on, let me. I have to rewatch her do it on her vlog, but she uses it on like no makeup days. I mean, probably on makeup days too, but she just uses the brush and like contours, but it looks way more natural. So if I was wearing sunscreen, but I wanted a little bronziness, this isn't all over bronze. This is literally like contour, but it's an illuminating beauty balm. And this is in the color sunset. So you just kind of apply it to the natural shadows of your face. And it looked really good on her, super natural. I feel like that would be really nice for no makeup days. And then another purchase was the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer because Kellyanne has been talking about this so much and a lot of people have said how good this is and I haven't been, I used the Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener but then I put a concealer over that. So I'm really excited to use this because I haven't found one super brightening recently. Morphe sent some fun new products, which I'm really excited to try. And then Kylie Skin, which I've never been gifted from Kylie. So the Detox Face Mask, Hydrating Lip Mask, and the Face Mask Brush. Oh, cool. So I can, I love when there's a brush for the face mask so it doesn't get all under your fingernails. And then this brand sent a ton of their Plasma Lip Compounds, which I'm very excited about. Buxom, I love their lip stuff always. And then Tower 28, some, oh, serum concealer. So another concealer for me to try. And then um, Lancome, I use this um, lash primer before I put mascara on. Every time, it keeps my mascara on really nicely and I don't have like 
uh, black under my eyes, which is really nice. And then um, these are some of the mascaras and then eyeliners. So fun little PR haul that I'd share with you guys. As I sit here doing emails, looking crazy. Um, one thing I love about Gmail is the fact, and I'm sure other, I just discovered this in the last like year that you can undo emails. Like if you catch it within like, I think it's like 10 seconds or something, you can undo the email. Like if you notice a typo after, like I'm really good about proofreading, but sometimes you change your mind last minute or whatever. So it's nice being able to undo. I feel very powerful in those 10 seconds. I'm like, ah, but I'm sitting here very excited and feeling very, 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 very grateful because um, I love fashion so much and I've been really trying to get more into the space. Um, a lot of people talk about New York Fashion Week here in New York City and the pros and the cons and there's everything, but I really enjoy it. Like I love getting all dressed up. I love seeing the new collections. I love connecting with people. I I really like it and I said to my team and I said to myself, I really meant it. I was like, I wanna do it right this year. I wanna see if I put my full potential in like all forces ahead, what Fashion Week can be like for me and how I feel during it and if I, you know, maybe I'll find myself even more just getting creative with the looks and everything like that. So I'm getting some really cool invitations and kind of building up my schedule, which is just like so confusing, but I'm feeling very, very grateful and I'm very thankful for you guys. And I'm just, you know, I like went from the post, like I was in college and I had my college style and my college content, but I'm like slowly trying to infuse more fashion into my content and you guys do receive it well. So I'm just like trying to figure out more ways to infuse it because I really enjoy it. Anyways, that's what's up. It's time for my afternoon snack and we all know what that is. Haha, <laughs> my good old good culture cottage cheese. It is literally like a reward. I love this stuff so much. You would think I'm sponsored by them, but I am not. I just love it so much. Got a good look at my face in the mirror out there and I was like, whew, we need to detox so i'm actually using the detox face mask and this brush was so nice to apply the face mask and i'm gonna do the lip mask after comment down, i don't know why like since i've been young since i've started using face masks i've been doing this i don't put my face mask on my forehead and i think it's also just because i'm very thankful that that's not a problem area for me so i think it just depends on your problem areas but it's easier to wash off and it doesn't get on my eyebrows so i don't know if i don't need it on my brow on my forehead i don't usually because this is where all the stuff is happening. <laughs> I look so cute right now. I am cracking up watching Katie's Nantucket vlog. We literally got back last night and she already posted it. This part is so funny. We decided to do a skit. Hey, I've got shorter hair than you. That's not fair. The girls have decided to perform a skit for us. Miriam, I told you, <laughs> my newspaper is not on the driveway. Where is my newspaper, Miriam? Oh, uh, it's... <laughs> uh, I think we need... Yeah, come on. We played freeze. We have to do exactly this. <laughs> I'm hearing something. I'm hearing something. Wait. That's not Bob. That's Bob. He's alive. <laughs> All right, now we're going to bed. <laughs> oh my God, I guess I'm laughing. That was so funny. Someone gave me the idea to replace the vase in my bedroom that has pompous grass right now with like eucalyptus or I was thinking um, like faux olive plant, uh, which I really, really like. And this is, where is it? Fake eucalyptus. It'd be like something like that. But I kind of am liking this olive plant on Pottery Barn. This is what I have in here right now. And since I'm getting rid of this plant, actually today, I'm pretty sure my friend Colby said she could find a home for it in her apartment. And I'm so happy. So she's actually going to take this today and I will not have greenery anymore. So, but I need to like figure out how to bring some color back. I'm also thinking of putting some artwork there maybe, but I think I'm going to go ahead and order that green plant situation and replace that. I think that'll look really nice here. I'm also about to say goodbye to this chair. Someone bought it and is on their way to come grab it. Uh, you know, I love this chair so much. It's the CB2 loom chair. It just, it went so well in my last apartment. It just doesn't fit here. It just doesn't feel right. I know a lot of you guys were like, no, I don't want it to leave. But then a lot of you guys were like, yeah, it's time for it to go. 
it's been a lovely chair for me to put things on <laughs> and people sat in it when it was in my last apartment in my living room but she needs to go it's her time so goodbye chair other happenings in my bedroom i got a new nightstand well nightstands but <laughs> ryan came over last night and i said he built it um, it was a team effort, mainly him. It took a lot longer than expected. It was like 1030 and I was like, don't worry about it. We'll just do the other one another time. And I'm so thankful for his help. He, he was like, I enjoyed doing this. I helped him take a new headshot photo and he helped me with this. It was great. Um, but this is from Wayfair, super inexpensive. I really like how it looks. It just covers up all the cords back there and I have drawers, which is nice. Um, they're not even full at all, but just to like have is more storage. And then I'm going to have the exact same one over there. Keep in mind that plant will be gone. And obviously my nightstands will be gone. They're so great, but they were just so not functional at the end of the day. They did not have drawers. Trying to decide how I feel about this. I don't mind it. Um, but I literally have another one of these in my hallway that I'm going to put together and put over here. I still need to get rid of this and need to figure out my suitcases. Some people said I could get like a bench or something or storage. But really the only thing I need left is something for my suitcases to go in. And I don't know if a bench will do. So, but it's starting to, once I get that corner cleared, like I could even, since I have two of these, I could put two of these next to each other, both over there which could be cute. So we got options. I also have clothes I need to put away because I did laundry as soon as I got home last night. But we're doing well, dog. We're doing well. Goodbye, chair. I love you. Literally been listening to Taylor Swift all day. Um, and I'm, I, there, she just has so many songs that like not the same song is played. It's so lovely. Um, refilling my supplements, you guys know. Usually I do this on Sundays, but... I only did like half of my Sunday reset yesterday since I got home in the evening. Um, my chair just left the vicinity. She's gone. I am so emotional about stuff like this. Anything to do with my apartment, I get like emo. But she said she would send me a picture of it in her apartment. And she, I, I think she has really good style. She's gonna make it look super cool. So yeah, I'm just doing this. I'm gonna put some clothes away. And then Ryan will be here and we're going to make some dinner together. We're just going to do like chicken, green beans, rice. <laughs> Nothing out of the ordinary, but I do like the rice and the veggies and he does the meat. That's our little routine and I'm hoping that he's in the mood to help me with my second nightstand so it looks nice and uniform in there. And maybe I'll put together my other piece of furniture and just be done. And just kind of get things going, baby. Ryan's here. Making some yummy chicken. I'm so happy I got this little mini grill. It's so fun. This name is Zach Bryan. Got the green beans cooking in here. And we're microwaving this rice. Seeing how it goes. I think it should be good. Should be good. Looks amazing. Great job on the chicken, Ryan. Yum. And now for dessert. And nightstand time. <laughs> I brought out the ring light or the... It's just easier. Things are happening. Plant is out of my room. Colby is on her way to pick it up. It's so bland in here now. I'm gonna order the olive thing, I decided. And the second nightstand is underway. And I'm putting together this piece of furniture, which is so nice. This is my type of, it came built. I just have to add the legs, which is just lovely. Guys, this is so funny. Colby, we just put the plant in her car. She goes on her way home. She goes, stop, he put the window down. <laughs> and I'm worried about the leaves, but like, look how fast. <laughs> she said, I'm gonna rename him Henry. Very fun. <laughs> oh, they're not going fast, she said. It just looks like they're going really fast. Anyways, Planty is gone. So the second night stand's about to be done. I moved that piece of furniture over here and put them next to each other. Kind of getting a feel for how I feel. <laughs> Um, another idea someone else had given me was put one on either side of the dresser for some symmetry, which could be a vibe. I haven't, this one's filled, but this one I'm going to put all my hats, belts, and just other random accessory stuff that I need in storage because I'm always needing storage. And 
Um, I had another basket on that side, but I actually brought it to my living room because it has all blankets and like I need blankets in my living room. So this is my hamper. So I could do, 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 do. I kind of like how it's a little bit more free over here now, but I don't know what I'm going to do. I could put my hamper here. It doesn't look terrible. I also need to get all the scuff marks off and use like a Mr. Clean eraser. Should I see what it looks like with one on either side? Yeah, let's have some fun. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't look terrible, but I don't think it's very, doesn't feel good when you first walk in. But I do like the symmetry, but uh, I don't know. It kind of looks like they're like speakers. This is hard, people. Okay, so far I think this is my favorite. I have the two over there, moved the baskets. The other one's over here. Looks nice and airy. We'll see. There you go. Oh my god. Uh, this looks so good. It looks so much better in this space. And now Ryan, Ryan's excited. He's like, can I have a drawer now? Yeah. I was like, you're so right. You don't have a drawer here. So, cause I haven't even filled my side of this nightstand. So that can be your little, like, you can put deodorant and shirts and whatever else. Guy stuff. <laughs> guy stuff. Yeah, guy stuff. Um, wow, this looks so good. Ryan, what should I do about those two? Uh, the original plan was to put one over there, one over here. But I don't know. One in that corner. Yeah, but this looks so good now that I'm like, I don't know. I'll just like live with it. Well, no, these are like clothing items, like this, or this is like gonna be like belts and hats. So I need to. But this just look. I'm so happy. It just feels better. I like how from this corner you can't see the Wi-Fi box and the cord. You can't see any cords other than my charging cord, which I need to figure out. I could just hide it. But doesn't this look so good? Mm -hmm. Thank you. High five. Tuesday morning and I actually woke up naturally at 7 a.m. I had an alarm set for 7 for 8 and I was like you know what let's just lean into it and I got up I went for a walk a long walk which was really nice to start my day and I went to Starbucks Reserve Roastery which is just basically a Starbucks on steroids you can get like espresso martinis there and stuff it's really cool they have um, coffee beans from all different um, Starbucks reserves around the world, which is really cool I just got a latte and you can order it for there for here So I had it in a nice big mug and I sat there and I responded to emails I went on Pinterest just kind of got inspired for the day, which was nice Then I came back showered and we're getting ready um, for the day big gals on the go day My spray tan is fading So I'm just like adding a little glow here um, I have literally four calls back to back today and then eat a quick lunch and then heading to the podcast studio to record the podcast. I'm not wearing this for the podcast, but I just figured I'd get ready for the day. Um, this is just a skims dress and then this is what I'm going to wear 
the studio because I just love puffy sleeves. This dress is from J. Crew. I'm obsessed with it, but I was like, it's a little much to wear on these calls. So I'm just going gray skims dress. It just felt felt right. But yeah, I also got a Juice Generation smoothie because I love them so much. And yeah, first call is in eight minutes. Gonna get set up right here with my computer all the things um but yeah i'll check in with you guys in a little bit but so far it's been a lovely start to the day and i'm just loving my bedroom waking up in it felt so nice like i love the relaxedness of this i know that's not a word but it makes me happy oh my gosh i love days like today because i'm just feeling super inspired um just finished all actually no i have one more call at one o'clock who am i kidding um finished most of the calls of the day i've had three so far we've one more um, but this last one was talking about our merch designs for our Gals on the Go live shows. And if you didn't know, I have a podcast with my best friend, Brooke. It's so much fun. And we've been doing live shows that have been a pretty big hit. And we're coming to Dallas, Austin, Chicago, and New York this fall. Um, night two of Chicago that we recently added, which is on our website, galsonthegopodcast.com, still has some tickets available. And then New York City has like a few tickets available as well if you guys want to go get your tickets it's a really fun time they're all in either november or december the shows um but we were just going over what we want for our merch because we like to sell like one piece of merch at the shows that you can only get at the shows and this year's is like oh my god it's i mean we haven't seen it yet we just did the mood board today and kind of brainstormed and i'm obsessed so if you're going to the live show be prepared because you're gonna want this i think we're doing a crew neck spoiler alert it's so sick. It's so chic. It's so elevated. It's so gals. Like, I think you're gonna like it. We haven't even seen the designs yet, and I'm like, you guys are gonna love it. So we did that. I just ordered myself Lenwich because I literally die for a spinach wrap, like, or turkey wrap, like turkey, lettuce, tomato, onion. Oh, I forgot to add onion with provolone cheese and oil and vinegar. It's so good. I guess i will do the rest of my eye makeup and do whatever i'm doing to my hair for the podcast so that after this last call i can like eat and go to the studio also this hotel lobby candle i lit earlier is smelling real good right now it's the linen scent dang they're very potent which i really like and then i also have i showed you guys these yesterday i forgot spa which smells like kind of like eucalyptus and then their signature which i've used before it smells so good it's just like chic hotel smell I need to introduce you guys to the steamer of the century. I mean, it's probably not the best one on the market, but I, it has changed the game. My friend Katie Bellotti had this one in the Hamptons, and I borrowed it to steam, and I was like, why am I actually enjoying this? So I got it. It's the Chi... It's a chi steamer. I'll have it linked below. Plugging it in right now, it heats up so fast. You just have to make sure it's in the walk mode, which it is, which I really like how fast it is because steaming is just, no one really enjoys steaming, but this does the job pretty darn well, I have to say. Here we are. I don't know what it is about it, but it's so good. It has like a max mode, which I pretty much always have it on unless it's like a sensitive fabric and it just steams so nicely. I, I don't know, I had one from Conair and I just kind of thought that was the standard for steamers. And my gosh, this has made steaming so much better. So if you're on the market for a steamer, I, I, I don't really recommend steamers often, but this one I just really like. I think it glides along the fabric really well. I don't know anything about steamers, but I just know my experience. <laughs> I'm just steaming before my next call. I didn't do my makeup or hair yet. Or I did my makeup and hair, but I didn't fix it. Because now that we're in this, like, podcast studio, I'm like, I gotta... I'm seeing 360, man. I gotta look good on camera. All calls are complete. I just... Fit, I decided to do the braid. I was gonna put it into a bun, but we're keeping the braid. Just added some eye makeup and touched up makeup a little. Here is the dress on. I love her so much so cute i wonder if there's any other colors but it's so it's just i love the puffy sleeves and then i just added some random bracelets jewelry gals in the go necklace and then i'm wearing reeboks because i'm gonna walk and then my bottega bag that i use all the time let's go record the podcast we're doing a nantucket recap episode because we just have 
far too much to talk about the trip because there's so many funny things that happened that it needs to be a full episode. So let's go. Oh, hello you. The lighting is so good. Really? You look amazing. Thank you. Thank you. I always look like this. So. <laughs> always. We're doing a lighter background today. Switching it up. We're trying to figure out what works, you know, and like we're yeah. finding our rhythm with it. We are. I think this is very bright, very fun. So we'll see how it looks on camera. But we're in the studio. Recording went so well. Like it was such a funny episode. I love any episodes where we like do a trip recap because they're so silly. And we just talked about like some pop culture topics as well. Um, going to some cool events with some cool brands this week. Tomorrow night, Brooke and I are going to see Bruce Springsteen at MedLife with Tarte. Um, we were both like, like Brooke's dad isn't in town and obviously my dad doesn't live here, but like I wish so bad that we could bring them because that would just be so fun. Um, but really excited to go and hang out with the Tarte team. They sent us, I was literally saying to Brooke like, oh, I, I need a better clear bag because I know like when we were there for Taylor Swift and I got one from Amazon. It was a cute like shoulder bag, but it didn't fit a lot. They sent us these really cute shoulder bags. They literally look like the like Louis Vuitton ones. Um, obviously it's not, but you know what I mean? Like that style with Tarte products inside. Um, I see there's a longer strap as well. I'm like trying to figure out what to wear tomorrow. I, I don't really know what people wear for spring sync concerts. I was thinking just like chill girl, you know, like white tank, baggy jeans, that vibe. And then this would be so cute on the shoulder. So literally bringing this tomorrow. Um, I didn't even see what's inside. Got some fun PR this week, huh? Um, I'm wondering if this is like setting spray, shape tape stay spray. Actually, I'm gonna try this. I wonder if there's any shape tape in here. Um, what are these? Oh, Maracuja lips, of course. Mascara, there's some really fun stuff in there. So that was very kind of Tarte, and I will be using this for future concerts, game days, anything. And then Divi, Divi is Danny Austin's brand who I've actually known for a long time. When I thought I was going to college in Dallas, uh, I met up with her there and we like went to brunch one morning and then I swear after that, like she's always been amazing, but she like blew up after that and I'm so proud of her with Divi and everything. Divi is a um, hair care brand, it's hers and it was inspired by, um, so I like followed along her journey. She got a lot of hair loss and she was just super insecure and um, she started this brand and it's all about like hair and scalp health, which I think is awesome. And they're doing a box, I think courtside, at the US Open this Thursday. So I'm excited to go to that as well, big week. But they also sent like a package with fun stuff. So I'll show you guys. Love this, it's the same company of merch we use for our merch and it's like the nicest stuff. So I love that it says Divi. I've been wanting to try their shampoo and conditioner. I'm always here for like scalp health. I also been wearing a lot of slick back, so I want to keep going with my hair growth here. So I'm, I'm literally about to put these in my shower. Scalp serum, definitely going to be using this. I love these types of cups. They just remind me of like being at home. I don't know, because we always collected them from like golf tournaments and school events and stuff like that. So I don't have any here. And these are just great, like little roadie cups, whatever you need. I'm assuming this is a hair towel and then um, the hair vitamins and then some scrunchies. This is seriously so thoughtful. Danielle, game, set, divvy. It's so cute. I love the branding and I love when a brand will send something before an event. I think it's super thoughtful, super cute. And I'm literally, this is so aesthetically pleasing. I'm about to put this in my shower. Okay, I wish I explained this earlier so I'm not as in a rush. Um, out for the night, one of my best friends, Seb, also known as Sarah Elizabeth. Um, today's her birthday and instead of doing a birthday dinner, she's doing a birthday boat ride. I think she is the website boat setter. And you can like rent small boats as a captain. Or I don't know what size boat it is actually. Um, but I think there's like 10 to 12 of us. And we're going on like a sunset boat ride. It's a little gloomy, but it's not raining, which we love. So we will take it. Um, but yeah, it's from 7.30 to 10.30, which is like perfect timing. I'm so excited. I'm actually bringing a shawl because it might get, I think it will get a little chilly. They also said they'll have blankets on board and then you guys are currently sitting on some spritz societies. I'm gonna bring three. I don't think I'll drink all three. I'm not even in a drinking mood, but we're on the boat for three hours. So I might change my mind. Outfit is from the brand Lioness. I got it on Shopbop, I'll link it below. It's such a cute set. And then I just switched my hair to a bun instead of a braid, switched to thicker earrings. 
I should probably put some rings on. Well, I'm definitely in a rush. Uh, shoes are Dolce Vita. So, I need to grab some sunglasses, but I'm really excited. Some of my other friends are going as well because Seven and I went to Georgia together, so I know a lot of the girls. And then Kelly and Cass and Maggie. It's going to be so fun. So, I'm going to bring these sunglasses and pack my other spritz societies. And we're going to head to, I think we're meeting at Chelsea Piers. Birthday girl! You look gorgeous. Oh my god. Wednesday last night was so much fun like highly suggest using boat setter if you're wanting to rent like a smaller boat and a captain it was such a lovely evening like core memory we we're listening to Taylor Swift and all this vibey music my friend Collier was on ox and she crushed it and I think Seb had the best night Kelly did her makeup she had Mitchell do her hair like she she looked amazing she looked so beautiful um, and she she was like my cup is so full so that is just anything that's what you could ask for I came home last night and I ended up facetiming one of my friends for a really long time Which was nice, but then I stayed up super late and then I woke up early this morning checking out on my family Because Hurricane Idalia hit um, it already hit like near my house in Florida um, And everyone's okay. It's just more so there's lots of water now and there's high tide, like the water is literally all in our backyard, all in our front yard. Um, but uh, high tide hasn't even happened yet, so they're just worried. Our house is on stilts, so like our living room and stuff is on the second floor, but we do have a first floor, and like the cars are in the driveway and the boat, and there's just some worry there. But I just, like I can't, you know, I can only do so much from here. So I've been checking in with my family, but I also feel like I'm stressing them out a little bit, so. Um, you know, cause so many of you guys have been messaging me and I'm like, ah, let me go talk to my parents again. You know, like everyone's been so nice. So thank you guys all for messaging me for my family and for my house. I'm just praying because now it's heading up North Florida and I have some friends that live up there and now they're scared. So it's, it's a, it's a big hurricane. We've had a lot of hurricane scares, um, in the last few years, but like it didn't end up hitting us, but this like actually happened. So anyways, I'm going to work out with Jane. Let's go. It's so much later. I came back, I showered, I ran some errands, picked up dry cleaning, and I had to get some shoes repaired. Did a ton of emails, a phone call, and then now I'm about to have some lunch. I'm just having chicken with rice. And it was so easy. I used that um, frozen rice and then pre grilled chicken. I know I'm so lazy, but like it gets me to eat a little bit more nutritious. And then I'm gonna have some hummus with cucumbers as well. So that's my lunch. Hey, hey, okay. We're getting ready for Bruce Springsteen. I just fully fake bronzed right here. Um, got my clear bag, which I'm so pumped about. I need to put on some lipstick. Look at this, the Tarte Maracuja. I don't know it here. But first, we're going to the podcast studio. We're recording another episode of the podcast today because Monday is Labor Day, so um, we were thinking, okay, let's just do two episodes this week so that it's easier for next week, which I'm really happy about because I am going to Miami this weekend. Um, 
But anyways, I'm gonna actually bring some sunglasses. So we're recording a Girl Talk episode today, which I love recording those types of episodes, so I think that'll be really fun. It's so funny, clear bags are funny because you can just literally see everything. I think I'm gonna bring a hairbrush. And I kinda wanna bring some powder. It's not tart powder, but I don't have a tart setting powder. Um, yeah, that should work. Um, Brooke just sent me her outfit and she's literally wearing heels and I was fully planning on wearing sneakers. Um, okay, she's wearing the heels. Well, I kind of feel like I'm still gonna wear the sneakers. She said they're comfy for now, we will see. I said, okay. So this top, I literally love it so much. I will have it linked down below, it's from Revolve. It comes with a skirt that is so cute. I wanna wear the full set at some point. Then I'm wearing Good American, um, the 90s loose jeans. This necklace is Love AJ, love it. And then, I, I mean, I really was planning on just, yeah, I'm gonna stick with it. I'm just gonna wear my Reebok sneakers because it's at MetLife Stadium. So that might involve some walking. Um, but yeah, the month of September, it's not even in September yet, but this month is crazy busy in the best way. And I am seriously so grateful. Like I don't want it to ever seem like I'm not, but yeah, I'm excited. Um, I think Brooke and I are going to get merch at some point for our dads and send, or actually my dad will be here in a week, a week and a half to visit. So I'll give him his Bruce Springsteen shirt there. But yeah, sorry, I really haven't vlogged much today. Just kind of been like, go, go, go. I've had a lot of work stuff to do, which I enjoy doing. Uh, and then got ready, ran some errands. I FaceTimed Caitlin because she's coming to Miami with me this weekend. It's me, Caitlin, Kelly, and then her friend Michaela, who I've met before. I'm lending Caitlin some clothes because I was like, I have so many summer clothes and like, it's going to be fall. Please borrow. So we were like FaceTiming and I'm like leaving with my doorman for her to come grab later to try on and all that because I won't be here. Um, but yeah, I'm seriously so obsessed with this clear bag. I can't get over it. Uh, all right, let's go record. Let's go to Bruce Springsteen. Let's meet Tart. Let's go see Brooke. All the things. Hello, 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 hello. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here we are. Last time I was here was for Taylor Swift. Oh yeah, we'll see how different the energy is. I know, much oh, different. Oh, well, my dad did tell me I might want to tell you. Oh yeah, is there a chant like, we need to know? He was like, no, but when they all say Bruce, it sounds like they're booing. But oh, they're Bruce. Like, Bruce. Oh my God, that's so funny. We have our little matching yeah. um, bags here. Cheers. Cheers. So excited. Oh. Brooke is gonna be the first person to dip into the dip. We were all like, who's gonna do it first? Crack it in. All right, do it. It depends. It's like Super Bowl dips. Oh my god, that's it? Oh, that, no, that's good. That's got cheese and sauce. Oh yeah, get a little guac. Ooh, that's a good bite. It's like literally, yeah. All right. I'm so proud of you, buddy. We bought our dads some t-shirts. I think that they're gonna love it. Daughters of the Year. This one looks This one looks nice. Yeah, our dad's <laughs> Brooke's worst nightmare. Tonight was so much fun. I left my apartment in a tizzy, so I have stuff all over. I was being so red. Brooke and I were being so silly tonight. It was so fun. Um, also we like touched up our makeup there, so it was kind of fun. Anyways, this necklace is magnetic and it's so funny. So it was, we were sitting there and I was like, I'm just gonna like prank Brooke and be funny. I'm so random. So I go, oh, do you like my necklace? Oh no, and Brooke like freaked out and I go, just kidding. <laughs> and that was my form of entertainment in that moment. It's from Love AJ though, it's so cute. I actually love it. It's a really strong magnet, but it was so funny. Anywho, fun night. 
good vibes and I'm so tired, let's go to bed. <laughs> Gotta love a walk and talk with your mom or just someone on the phone. Walking is the best time to call someone. <laughs> I woke up, I met Ryan for breakfast. It's literally our weeks were so busy that we had to send each other calendar invites um, because I'm going to Miami tomorrow and I have an event tonight so we couldn't like hang out like we normally would the night before I would leave for a trip. So we got breakfast, it was so cute, went to banter. I love that place, we went to the one in Greenwich Village. And now the packing begins for Miami. Very excited about this trip because we have dinner plans, but we are really making this a relax, restore kind of trip. Um, we just wanna relax and enjoy like the last little bit of summer, which is so crazy and I'm very thankful to be going. We got a great deal at the hotel, so very excited. I got this dress from Retrofit, and I'm just like crazy. I got it for maybe my birthday, but then I found a different dress I want to wear my birthday. So I was like, this is perfect because we're going to Sexy Fish one night for dinner. And I was like, this is perfect for that and like the clubs. We might have like one big night. And then over here, um, I have this big, big old bag of bikinis. I got a ton of, this is Kelly's bathing suit that she left in the Hamptons. So I'm bringing it back for her. Um, I got a ton of like, Th not th I guess they're called thong bikinis technically from Amazon because they're really great for tanning um who is she and then I'm bringing these shoes these are Jeffrey Campbell I love them um they're really cute with like a cover-up and a black bathing suit or just like for day-to-day -day. we're really we don't have like day plans we're literally just going to the beach pool so I brought like obviously my favorite Abercrombie linen pants I'm gonna bring some skims tank tops this is a dress. I'm bringing like a couple different options for nighttime. Like I got some stuff from House of CB. Um, and then I finally got a Siegelman stable hat. I was really happy I, I got the drop. I like, I got a couple. I was like, I might give one to Ryan or something. And then, <laughs> wow, I'm actually realizing I'm bringing a lot of swimsuit cover-ups. So I might have to minimize. But yeah, these are really cute pants from Solid and Striped. And then I'm bringing like, you know, my Amazon cover up that I love, just stuff like that. So really just night outfits. And then this is like a casual black dress for the daytime. If we like go get breakfast in the morning or coffee, and then I'll probably bring like a workout outfit or two. But yeah, I'm just kind of putting everything together. Kind of need to pack mainly now because I'm going to the US Open tonight with Divi. Very excited. So I'm just gonna kind of get all this done. I'm gonna make an element. I could use some extra electrolytes here. I also need to take my supplements for the day. And I need to make sure to put my air tag in the proper suitcase. But yeah, we got this and this. We're good to go. I literally, I think I did a pretty good job. I've been scrubbing off my spray tan. I mean, at this point I got it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Guys, I just got so scared. I have a black jacket on my bar stool chair and it just started moving. And I was just over there. So I must have bumped into it. But I literally just thought there was like someone in here or like a black animal. Oh my God. Living alone, sometimes you just easily freak yourself out. Like I'll be randomly like washing my face in the shower, like where your eyes are closed in the shower. I'm like, oh my God, there could be someone staring at me right now, like opening. I just like do that to myself. Not often. I really am not, I don't get myself super scared, but there's just random times where I do. It's just very funny. Also this morning, Taylor Swift released her that she's doing, putting the Eras tour at AMC theaters, which is so exciting. I had a feeling she would do something like that. I, I didn't know if it'd be like a streaming service or whatever, but this is awesome. I went and bought four tickets just to have. So I texted some of my friends. I was like, does anyone want to go? Plan to probably go multiple times, but also I'm like, I do in a perfect world, I'd go to her concert one more time when she comes back next year, but I don't know. The lemon lime or the lime salt flavor or citrus salt, I'm sorry. From Element, it's so good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. -mm. All right. I'm just gonna put my head down and we're gonna do some packing and then emails or emails and packing. Packing then emails.
right, packing is pretty much done. I just have to add my toiletries and, like, hair tools. Um, I love going on a girl's trip because we coordinate, like, you know, who's bringing what hair tool. It's pretty nice. This is my roll-up jewelry organizer from Amazon. It's literally amazing, and I just actually end up switching up my jewelry because I can see everything. Some people even, like, you could just leave it in this and, like, keep it at home and hang it up. Um pretty great i'm trying to decide what my beach bag will be i love this one from amazon but then i also have this one of course or yeah it would probably either be this one or that one but i'm also gonna like bring a bag on the plane so i just kind of try to figure out that also update in here i put hats and then um my belts and then nothing under here yet, which is good. I'd rather have open space so that when I need to put new stuff in. I still am, like, not loving this here, but I'm just figuring it out as we go. And then in here, I'm just kind of going through all of my products. Going to see what's what, like, what I want to kind of bring. So I'm just kind of packing up my toiletry bag here. I just got this, and I'm obsessed. The Dr. Dennis Gross vitamin c radiant moisturizer and then this mask i used before bed last night it's the peter thomas roth water drench oh my god it's amazing you like leave it on for three minutes it my skin felt so moisturized this morning and then just like other little products a lot of things can fit in this um stony clover bag which is really nice and like some hair ties elastics gel to slick back my hair you know, lipstick, maybe the lipstick will go over here and I'll put in my carry-on. Need to organize this area and then I really need to get some computer stuff done. But this way I just feel pretty set. Um, so yeah. I am so obsessed with this mask, I wanna do it again. I just finished packing for the most part. Peter Thomas Roth, water drench. This thing is literally like gel. And it's not a leave-on mask, like you fully put it on like as a layer over your skin and you can keep it keep it on for a minimum of three minutes but it's just like hyaluronic acid it feels so good i don't know it just feels like i have jelly on my face like look i'm a, I'm a glazed donut as they say so i'm gonna sit down do my computer work now with this on my face and i will just be a moisturized queen i have 30 minutes i love when i have a set amount of time for emails i don't know why i just enjoy time batching it I've, nothing is more satisfying than clearing your inbox. I'm sure you guys can understand. Because at 12.30, I'm going to leave. Brick and I have an in-person meeting with somebody. So, and it's in no house, so I'm going to walk there and get, like, just, like, a good walking. Because I didn't really work out today. Um, I did not. I'm just in a walking mode today. It's a beautiful day out. This morning felt like a little, like, fall. Like, there's not a cloud in the sky, but it's a little crisp in the air. I mean, it's toasty, but... I have not filled out my doing all daily for the day, which is just very not me. I'm almost to the end of this one. This is the planner I designed with doing all daily. Single down each page. I'm just going to... Today's quote, you already have what it takes. True. I'm just going to take anything that I didn't do on this to-do list to the next day. Oh, and I forgot that we did this at one of the last pages. It says to order a new day book on the to-do list, just to remind yourself, so... I think I have one more here, and then I need to get another one. Just filling out my to-do list. All right, got a good amount done. Just put my outfit back on and my sneakers, and I'm gonna grab a protein smoothie, I think, on the way. I'm gonna go to Juice Gen, and then we're going to La Colombe in No Hope for our meeting. So it's giving suburban mom. <laughs> All right, I just got ready and now I'm in a rush. What is new for this week? Um, just had a lot of like admin stuff to do for Gals on the Go um, and some of my own stuff. I'm so excited for the US Open. Just packing my little bag, bringing all the lip stuff. I've been traveling with pressed powder and it's been really nice. I kind of want to bring my little perfume situation if I could find. Yeah, I don't know. They could take this from me. I really hope they don't because you gotta smell good. Um, I'll show you my outfit and then I have to go. Dress is from Stodd. Sweater I picked up from Brandy Melva. Actually, it's perfect. It's like that crisp white color. Did a half up, half down. Sunglasses are Ray-Ban. Earrings are Anthropology. Shoes are Pell Moda. I'm so excited. Brooke's going. Margo's going. And I'm sure other people I know too. So I'm 
very much looking forward to it. Do we like the fit? Hello. Look at this little fabulous gal. Thank you. We're doing a tennis match. Tennis match. <laughs> Can I show your outfit? Um, not sitting like oh. this. <laughs> this is not flattering you for my short me. dress. We were in a long dress, and you look fabulous. Um, and I already showed them out. Thank you. Thank you. We got, we're vodka girlies vodka here. Girl. Cheers, 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 cheers. What do you guys think with the tequila? Oh, it's really good. Oh my God. God. It's literally, I don't know what they're putting in this, but it's amazing. Okay. And we got to go cups. Yay. Give it up for Carlo.